Hello and welcome to WordPath, the show about Oklahoma Indian languages and the people who are teaching and preserving them. Tonight we're going to learn about Pawnee language preservation in northeastern Oklahoma. We'll hear from Adrian Horsechief, language coordinator for the Pawnee tribe, and look in on his language classes at Pawnee High School. Let's take a look. <laughs> the first word, Ikutski, bird. Everybody say it again all at the same time though this time. Ready? The Kutski. Buffalo. Donaha. The next one, Fox. Kiwa. Skunk. Dewit. Next one, Rabbit. Barus. Next one, Fish. Kachiki. Kachiki. It is flying about. The Awadi. Next one that is swimming or wading in the water. The Hawadi. Next one it has gone. Dia. 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 Or it has disappeared. The Hisa. Eagle, let the cuts. Crow, Kafka. All right. Um, mouse. Itikis. And uh, next one, prairie dog. Us cuts. Next one, spider. Chaw chicks. Mosquito, Usuts. Usuts. House fly, Speedarus. Speedarus. <coughs> Frog, Scooter Cakes. Scooter Cakes. Alright. Yes. Yes. How do you say deer? Deer. Good one. The Hudaki. Now everybody say it. The Hudaki. Pony Tribe originated from uh, Nebraska, uh, as far as we know, but uh, what I've been told by stories from uh, other people, you know, we've been pretty much all across the United States, and um, we uh, moved here into present-day Oklahoma, right here in Pawnee, and um, this is the, the headquarters of our, of our tribe, and most of our people are right here in Pawnee, and um, our language, we probably have... Uh, out of about 2,500 that we have enrolled in our tribe, we probably have about maybe, I would say, eight, eight fluent um, elders left uh, within our language, possibly more. Um, it would say, I would say a little bit more that would, uh, uh, there'd be a few more people where they would know, they know the language, they're able to talk it and they understand it, but they're not fluent. Mm -hmm. And then it just goes on from there. You have uh, uh, a few more people that would uh, maybe just understand it, you know, or maybe they can't speak it, or there may be a few that could just speak and can't understand, you know, they're just what, what they're talking about themselves. And then plus, then, then towards the end you have the people that uh, um, can just say a few words, you know, and then that was the whole basis of hoping to try to get this, this started so that we could uh, preserve our language, you know, uh, uh, with our uh, tribe, you know, like I said, we have very few elders left, fluent elders left. So one of the things that we're trying to do is uh, try to keep this language going. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have, uh, we was glad to have these classes. It's the second year here in Pawnee. Mm -hmm. um, this is my first year teaching here. Uh, the teachers I had for the last program was Adorna Harjo and uh, Angela Thompson. And then uh, this year it's uh, myself. 
and uh, mm -hmm. we have a high school and junior high class, and the the high school's more more language orientated, and then junior high is is uh, uh, language with a lot of history involved as well. Just trying to make them awareness mm -hmm. of this class, so that when they get in high school, they could take the mm -hmm. the uh, the language. We're gonna go to. Uh, Go to uh, the useful phrases, page 45. <clears throat> Your first one is, uh, where are you going? Get it all set. The next one is, I'm going home now. With that guy he said. The next one is, come here, six up. And hurry, or hurry up, weiss. Weiss. Oh, weiss, good soups. And the next one is, uh, I'm coming. Wet tortilla. Wet tortilla. All right, lesson eight. Where is it? Kiduraku. Kiduraku. We'll go down some of these other basic words, some of these animals. Dog. Asaki. Saki. Cat. Kitty poos. Kitty poos. Horse. Arusa. Arusa. Cow is oxy. Oxy. White man's buffalo or uh, white man's cow. Dadaha taka. Dadaha taka. Pig. Again. Kuku. Kuku. Here we go now, we get into the house. Akaru. Akaru. The mud lodge. Akarada town. Akarada town. <laughs> Next one, Tipi. Akarada choppy. Akarada choppy. Next one, roundhouse. Akarada hoodoos. Akarada hoodoos. Turn over to the next page, 38. I'm going to uh, the next one. <coughs> He's looking for it. Read us, B. Read us, B. All right, here's one for you guys. He has found it. How do you guys say that? I ain't heard that said. How do you say it? De Huras. He is standing. The edit. Yeah. He was standing. How do you say it? Duke's there you go. Duke's audit. <laughs> All right. The next one is uh, he is standing around in the road. The Hadu got audit. Everybody, one more time. The Hadu got audit. There you go. <laughs> Next one, he was standing around in the road. Oh, wait, that's the same one. Oh, yeah, I didn't do this. He was, he was standing around in the road. Duke's Hadouk got on it. Next one, he, he's inside or was inside. Dikaku. He is or has been walking around outside. Be a goo. Be a I am crying. Dakikat. You are crying. Gus uh Duskikat. He or she or it is crying. Dikikat. They had the pony uh Indian boarding school out here east of town and that really uh, uh, hurt our tribe I guess mm -hmm. with, especially with the language and a lot of uh, uh, ceremonies and things like that mm -hmm. when they went out there um, basically you couldn't talk your language I was told stories that you know you was you would get whipped you know and things like that mm -hmm. if you talk the language um, and it kind of pretty pretty much brought it into a lot of uh, uh, a lot of these tribal ways you know ceremonies mm -hmm. and language things like that. Uh, a lot of the ones that um, are fluent didn't go to the school out there, you know. Mm -hmm. um, they, may, they may have went to another school, other places, or uh, 
uh, maybe the students that did go out there that that are fluent, um, you know, maybe they grew up, you know, with their with their mm. family that were real fluent where they mm. had to learn how to talk, you know. So um, that's uh, that that's probably what hurt our tribe the most mm. was the uh, was the boarding school. Mm. All right, page forty or additional words. Forty. Yeah. There's one that everybody should know. Money. All right, again, papichisi. Papichisi. All right, next one. Penny, papichis pahat. Papichis pahat. All right, ski D for nickel. Five sets. A few ski D's back there. South bands. Five sets. All right, dime. Dedicates. Again, dedicates. All right. Quarter, two pits. Next one, half dollar, Ikarika. Seventy-five cents, six pits. And then one dollar, Usku Papichasu. If you know Papichasu is a dollar, then Usku is one. Wow. Thank you. Let you guys know that. Wow, you, know that you solved already. it. <laughs> Never <knew> that. <coughs> Verbs, I know it. Who could say it? There you go. Tatita Ita. Okay, here we go. I don't know. There you go. Kakita Ita. A little tough one on that one. Kakita Ita. Here we go with the numbers from 11 on up to 21. There you go. Asku Hukita, 11. <laughs> one more time. Asku Hukita. Okay. 12. Bitku Hirusiri. 13. Dawit the Hook City. Fourteen. Laku Kita. Fifteen. Sihooks Daru Kita. Sixteen. Iksurawiu. It's a tough one for me. Seventeen. Dawit Kaki. We'll finish this up with uh, these useful phrases here. Very first one, here it is. Or trying to hand it to somebody. <coughs> Duddy. <coughs> and what? Ka. Again, ka. Ka, all right. Next one. Is that right? Garu ru chirao. Garu ru chirao. One more time. Garu ru chirao. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sounded, sounded kind of funny. All right, that's right. We're all right. Do do chida. Do do chida. All right. And the last one. Thank you, Doctor Chick Stay Who. All right. I think it looks pretty good. We have a lot of younger younger uh, kids that are being involved. Um, I know a while back. Uh, a few years ago, it just seemed like there was very few uh, younger ones that were involved with anything uh, had to do with the tribe, you know, maybe just dances, ceremonies, or anything. But uh, since they, we took a poll on it a couple years ago and uh, tried to ha uh, tried to see about getting the language, you know, here in the school, mm -hmm. and um, we got a lot of good responses. So last year we had the class and it turned out real good, and this year we have this. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I first came in, they had enrolled. Uh, 11 students and we didn't know what uh, the out outlook was going to be on that but then after school started we jumped up to 25 and we had to mm. cut it off at 25 mm. and we still had more students that wanted to be in the class. All right, let's see how many we got here today. Six, <coughs> seven, eight, nine, 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 yeah, when there's a draw. Man. Yeah. I can't play. <laughs> this is 
is how we're gonna do these guys over here at six. We got 18. You three back here, Reva, Randy, Vanessa. You three girls back over there. You guys are on this team over here. And the rest of you guys. You skeeties are uh, mixing in with the rats over here. All right, you guys over here, who's going first? Huh? Kathy? <laughs> 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 All right, you guys are coming up with the team name. What's your guys' name? <laughs> okay, there's the call. Oh, God. What? What? It's uh, the Watts against the Moon Dogs. <laughs> All right. Your first one is. You guys ready? Yeah. Go. Remember now, you guys got to say in Pawnee. How long do you get? 30 seconds. Yeah, give it 30 seconds to draw. Then after that, you got five seconds to answer. And then it goes over to here. Let's see. Find a good one. A good one. Okay. Alright, you ready? Go. Uh, Funny word now. Okay. Uh, You have to wait, we can't see what we're here, Okay, there's no end. It's going to help you out now, sorry. You know what, it wasn't even going to help. Alright, you got five more seconds, so you can keep drawing. Stop, we got five seconds. What'd you say? Huh? Tell him. Good ahead. Alright, yeah, it's old man, good ahead. What's an old man? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up a little bit more. Alright, everybody ready? Go. <laughs> Right, so do so, of course. Oh, you didn't get the fish. Oh, was that his head up there? That's his butt. Give him time to draw so we can see the artwork. Alright, you ready? Go. Yeah, 
learning uh, real good uh, so I think it looks pretty uh, the, the future looks pretty bright you know for our tribe yeah. uh, if these students uh, stay with it you know like we I've always told them we've had elders come in here and tell them you know uh, uh, we have to have our, our language you know to do a lot of stuff you know when we sing songs at powwows or at dances or at ceremonies we have to kind of understand what we're talking about mm -hmm. and uh, uh, no, understand you know what certain meanings that they have so we can sing them at a certain time and um, it's 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 something that I think these kids are, are starting to be aware of and they see it they're starting like I said they're starting to come around more uh, mm -hmm. uh, activities around here within our tribe and they see some of these elders pray in the language uh, talk in the language you know and, they, and they're starting to become uh, they're starting to understand what uh, mm -hmm. what these people are talking about now you know mm -hmm. So uh, I think it looks pretty good. And uh, we have adult classes too as well uh, for the community. That's what we started out, out with first and then it got come in here to the school system. So uh, adults are starting to try to pick it up. You know, and some of these elders are even coming in too and trying to uh, uh, you know, help their memory a little bit, you know, try to get some of the language back. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these elders that I'm, I'm in contact with you know, like they say that uh, they don't really have anybody to talk to, so they forget a lot of things. So um, this helps them out quite a bit to be able to come into town, you know, and then to uh, talk. You know. All right, no cheating. So I got somebody's recording, so you know, caught on tape. You got ready? Here we go. First word, fuck suit. You have to rhyme it. Huh? I think the reason why I, I think it, it's important is um, for cultural identity, you know, to kind of separate ourselves from uh, other tribes, other nations, other races, you know. Um, 
you know, you, you, you see people, you know, maybe Spanish, they speak Spanish or people from other countries talk their language, mm -hmm. you know, by, by talking, you know, in your own native language, you're able to uh, set yourself apart. You know, mm -hmm. you go out in the public and you're able to talk with uh, one of your friends or your relatives and stuff like that and, and, you, and you talk with them and automatically, you know, if other people are around then they, you know, you know, you're, you're different, you're different from mm -hmm. even other tribes, even if you're without a power where there's a lot of mm -hmm. Indian tribes there, you know, you're, you're already automatically, you know, say, well, they're of a different tribe, you know, and they know their language. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a lot of tribes um, are having a hard time with their language. I know within these past few years, tribes have just completely lost their language. And that's something within our tribe. I, I hope that don't happen. That's what we're trying trying to do, our best to do. We got pretty real good support from the high school and the junior high junior high school. Um, the high school principal, superintendent, same way as the junior high principal too, uh, uh, was very supportive on trying to bring this program about. Um, they uh, had no problems with trying to get this in here. Uh, the language within this class and with the junior high class and uh, uh, they've been very helpful and you know like like I said you know that I give a lot of praise to them guys for letting us be able to do this you know it helps us out mm -hmm. quite a bit and they're very supportive and uh, we we're in contact they come out with contact with the tribe quite a bit we set up meetings you know mm -hmm. and uh, so everything's worked out just just fine you know and then they've been very helpful one final quickie. I always like to ask people how to greet someone in their language and then how to say thank you so I can thank you at the end. Okay. Uh, how we say in our language, uh, hello is Noah. It means hello, pony. And how we would say uh, thank you would be uh, tata chikstehu. That's thank you. Tata chikstehu. Yeah. Thanks to Adrian Horse Chief and Pawnee High School for letting us visit their classes. We wish them good luck with all their Pawnee language activities. See you next time on WordPath. Anama wura kita wa pene madawuni kita na hene yo hene na hene yo hene anama wura kita wa pene madawuni kita na hene yo hene na hene yo hene anama wura kita wa pene madawuni kita na hene yo hene Na hene yo hene anama wura kita wa pene madawuni kita